Leos, welcome back. Let's see what's going to happen with Leos. If you're new to my channel, my name is Maya. If you like the vibe and the energy, feel free to like and subscribe. If you guys need a personal reading or you want to tip the channel, everything's in the description down below. Okay, so let's see. Yeah, my voice is like raspy again, man. When you get COVID, it leaves you with something. Forever. Okay, so let's see. Minera. What does Leo need to know? Need to know. You got the Two of Pentacles uh, strength card. Leos, I feel like you got, um, you got somebody here that you left here. <laughs> I feel like somebody here, they cannot overcome the fact that you walked away. They cannot overcome the fact that whatever happened here, whether you were right, they were wrong, or they were right and you were wrong, they can't overcome the fact that you left here. This person is going through it really, really bad over you. I feel like at some point you thought this was your soulmate or something was going good with this person. But I feel like whatever happened here, if you walked away from somebody here, this person still thinks you're their soulmate. This person is in a group. This person is going through it really, really, really bad. There's no strength in their energy. There's no strength in their thinking. There's no strength in their stability. They're going through it with money. I feel like they juggled you a lot. I feel like they imbalanced your money. I feel like for the most part, you know, you did a lot for this person. I feel like you put so much effort in doing everything you could for somebody here. You feel me? And it's like, the loyalty was so destructive and so fucked up at the ending of whatever happened here and if you're dealing with somebody there is no loyalty here there's a lot of effort and strength that somebody's putting here to make somebody be loyal you cannot make nobody be loyal you feel me and every time that you try it's like they fence you in it's like being in between a sword and a wall if you hit the sword you're gonna get cut if you hit the wall you're gonna get hurt you feel me it's like an energy that i'm picking up that this person might be wanting to come back to you, you know, and I feel like this person doesn't stop thinking, thinking, and thinking, but I feel like you want to move forward to something else, Leos, but this person, you know, you left them out in the cold, whatever it is they did, you know, whatever it is they did, you left this person, or they walked away, and I'm going to tell you like this, you know, a lot of people forgive people that cheat. A lot of people forgive people that do crazy things. I've seen it all my life. It doesn't matter. But I feel like this person genuinely, when they did what they did to you, they really, really regret it. They really, really, really do regret it. And I hate saying this because I can't stand people that cheat and lie and connive people and those type of manipulations and go around and be sleeping around because they can give you anything and it's just not respect. You feel me? But I feel like they genuinely regret this. But I feel like you're moving forward. Leos. And I feel like somebody is catching your eye or you've been seeing somebody that's trying to get to you. You might have three people that want to be with you at this uh, moment. You might have three people that are trying to... Um, Look, the lover's card in the bottom of the deck. I feel like you got three people that might potentially want to get with you. So, you know, three people you have your eye on or they have your eye on you. But it might be something, you know, that could turn out into, a, you know, a little love thing here going on. You feel me? Because I feel like you've been searching for your soulmate. You've been searching for somebody to give you. You feel me? What you give. Because I feel like when it comes to, you know, stability, you give a lot, Leo. You put a lot of effort in giving anybody that comes across your way. But you need to give a little bit more effort to yourself and stop giving those that only come when they want. Because I feel there's a lot of people here that when you have it, they come and get it. When you don't have it, of course, that happens to everybody, but not to everybody. You feel me? But I feel like there's one particular person here that when you stayed in some sort of situation here, they just walked away. I feel like also here there was, you know, a couple here, could have been four or five years that were together, that something went wrong here. Something happened to a Leo here, and they needed your help. 
and you know they needed something at that moment and this person for no reason and just slowly walked away and left you in a moment when you were either suffering about something you were worried about something or something big was going on in your life and this person was supposed to ride with you the whole way you feel me and i feel like i feel like they intentionally made shit up and caused fights and did things to walk away or for you to you know let them go i feel like there's a new romance coming here. I feel like somebody's been thinking about you. I feel like also, Leo's, you've been thinking about somebody here that for I have like three energies here. I feel like some of you Leo's here are thinking about somebody from the past that might have had a little fallout with you. They might have been something like, you know, not a real commitment, something like dating or something, and then boom, you this person was dating somebody else and so they were talking to other people and it's like you walked away from this person, you feel me? But I feel like at some point you were falling for somebody here and it just didn't make it off the ground. But I feel like you've been thinking about this person and I feel like they've been thinking about you at the same time. You know, this person might be a person that, you know, at that time, in that moment, in that place, in this lifetime, you know, at that time, you didn't belong together. So I'm feeling like something here, and I hate to say it, <laughs> because Lord knows, bro, sometimes when you want to go back to somebody, you don't know what's going to happen. But I feel like somebody here from the past might be coming through Leo and I feel like you might give in to this person you know I'm not talking about a crazy ass person I'm just talking about a person that you wanted to have something what they wanted it to but it was just not the right timing I feel like they're coming back I feel like you know you have a lot of strength in you for some Leos here that I'm picking up. But some Leos here, you know, are going through a lot of money problems. Are going through, you know, things with their family. Things that I'm seeing here that it's either, you know, a chaos, a fight, an argument, whatever it is. Because you're with this one, you're with that one. You know, it's like nobody can tell you who the fuck to be with. You understand me? Like, it's like an energy that I'm picking up. It's like no matter what you do, no matter who you're with, nobody agrees. Who gives a fuck? Be happy and do your damn self. It doesn't matter who agrees and who doesn't agree. Give me a second. You know, like, I feel like for some of you Leos, a person you really loved here, a person that you were in love with here. I mean, there was somebody that was very in love here with somebody. And this person just shattered you into pieces. Like, I feel like there was somebody here that was controlled, that couldn't do anything, couldn't go out, couldn't, you know. It was like a person that was over obsessive with you and at some point they hurt you. At some point, they physically hurt you. And I feel like at times, you would try to move away. And it was like your strength. You had your power, your strength there to move on. But it's like you couldn't move on. It's like I feel like you had nobody to help you. I feel like you had nobody to, like, you know, cry or, you know, shoulder. You feel like, you feel me? Like, you had no, no, no family members, you know, no friends, nobody to help you. Everybody turned their back because of this person. And then they turned their back because you left this person, which makes no damn sense. But that's what I'm picking up here. You know, because I don't know, like I've seen a crazy shit in my life with family, but I'm, I'm, I'm a person that, um, oh God, somebody here is pregnant and somebody here's energy is getting me very nauseous and I don't know if somebody's going to go into delivery already, but if you are, you know, close to your time or a little bit close I don't want to scare you, but you might go into delivery because I just stuttered. And when I stuttered, I had this pain right now in my stomach, like a cramp pain, which I don't know what a cramp pain is, but I know what a contraction is. I've had six children. So if you're pregnant and you're six, seven months, whatever it is, eight, whatever it is, nine, whatever it is, I feel like you're going to go into labor already. So, or your girl's going to go into labor. So get ready. You feel me? Just a little pack your little things because I feel like somebody's going into labor here. I swear to God, I'm feeling it. Like, I'm feeling it. The baby's going to be okay, but I, I'm feeling it so bad. It's like I'm feeling little contractions, and I haven't felt that in a minute. Yo, like, whoever's pregnant here, I'm telling you, please get ready, because you, you're going to have a baby. Now, you know, so I don't know. Maybe somebody just had the baby. I don't know. But I feel like, you know, for the most part, something's going to come into your direction. I feel like... You know, if you met somebody, Leo, I feel like you're thinking about it. I feel like you don't know if to jump over, to stay put, if to go out, if to, like, commit. I feel like, you know, somebody has had a couple of dates and shit, but I feel like, you know, you don't know you're worried about, 
You know, you're worried about a person hurting you here. You're worried about a person here trying to come at you. I feel like you think this person's coming after you for your money, for what you got, for what you give, you know, for whatever it is. It doesn't matter. Listen, you you need to connect with your guides here. You need to connect more with yourself to understand what's going on here because I know and I know the feeling. The feeling of not wanting to move forward, you know, not wanting to start new, not wanting to give another chance. You feel me? Just starting new, period. You feel me? And getting to know a person and getting to, you know, know you. And, you know, having to explain all these things again. And you don't know what they're doing. You know what they're all about. You feel me? And then falling in love with a person and they walk away from you. But you have to try. You know? I'm not saying you got to go and do it, but you got to try sometimes. Because I feel like... This person here that you were dealing with was, <laughs> somebody here was severely scared of a, a person here that you were with, that had you in a state of anxiety, of fear, of every time you would think this person was coming or you did, you went to the store and you thought you did something wrong. Whatever it was, the fear inside of you, your nervous system, everything was really, really bad. And it came to the point where you were so much in fear that you didn't know what else to do. You feel me? Love here was not the issue with this person. Fear was. Okay? Don't ever confuse fear with love sometimes you can love a person but fear them and the fear that you that you feel you think it's love it's not love it's the fear you know there might have been love there but when a person does shit to you and puts their hands on you and does things to you like that it's not love anymore yeah you might have love for them but the fear is overpowering the love you feel me but i feel like a lot of you need strength here you know when it comes to trusting again because i don't feel like you trust a damn soul and there's somebody coming in here. <laughs> listen, I ain't even gonna lie, bro. Like, with everything that I just said, listen, a main, a main male, it could be a main female, can come in here. And you could possibly be getting married with this person. You don't know how it's gonna kick off. Or somebody here's about to propose to somebody. Or, you know, I don't know. Get proposed to. But I'm feeling like something good is coming in here. And like a little romance. Look, somebody good is coming in here, man. There's going to be a person that's going to come in here and sit down with you when there's issues and problems or whatever it is. They're going to be able to talk to you, you know, compromise with you. as a person that you're going to be able to talk to. Not a person that you say something and boom, it explodes and an argument breaks out. You feel me? Like, I don't know why. Oh, the 7th of July is coming up here. I don't know why the 7th of July is coming in, but I think that's tomorrow. I'm not even sure. But the 7th of July is coming out here, the 9th, the 14th. I don't know what's popping in those days, but be mindful about those days and see what happens. Write it down. Listen, you're going to be treated good. Leos, whoever's coming into your energy, whoever you've been thinking about, if you're thinking about somebody and you don't know what to do and you think it's going to be wrong, you know, they're going to ghost you or whatever it is going on here, moving forward, they're going to be a person that's going to treat you good. They're going to treat you like you're high honor. You feel me? They're going to be able to have conversations and, you know, that vibe that you need, that connection, that, that chemistry that you need. When you have a problem, you got something to say or they got something to say, sit down and talk about it. I'm not going to say you're not going to argue because that would be ridiculous. You feel me? But I feel like this person's coming in and I feel like they're going to be, you know, a mature person, but they're going to be a fun person at the same time. They're going to be a person that likes to, you know, do little crazy things with you. You feel me? And spontaneous things, but they're a very mature person when it comes to building a home or stabilizing anything here. You might not, you might be with this person for a good while before anything pops up, but I feel like somebody is going to move fast into your energy, and you might be getting married with somebody here. Somebody will pop the question, female or male. It doesn't matter. Give me another one, Mina, for this one. Change is coming. All the way. You feel me, Leos? So whatever you've been through, if you're hurt, if you're afraid to move forward, whatever this person did to you, you know, it's hard. It's heartbreaking. It's because I'm seeing it. It's heartbreaking what this person has done. But I will tell you this. This person, 
that did this to you or whatever the fuck happened here. You know, don't worry about this person. This person is going through it right now. They don't know what the fuck to do. They don't know where to stand. They don't know where to go. They don't have nobody to help them. You feel me? They're right now regretting it so bad. And I feel like they're genuinely regretting it. But you know what? That's the past. You feel me? Now, if it's a person that you never kicked it off with, never lifted off the ground with, you want something with that person and they come back and they didn't do nothing crazy, that's a different story. That's a different energy. That's somebody coming in new to give you something that they didn't give you before, that they couldn't give you before. You feel me? You could be getting here with a Capricorn, a Leo, a Taurus, a Pisces, a Cancer, a Taurus, another Taurus, an Aries, any water sign, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. But for me, it could be anybody. I don't know who Jojo is, but Jojo's coming to my head. So if somebody calls um, you Jojo or you call somebody Jojo that's coming to my head, I don't know who that's for. Let me see. Moving forward, what is, you don't need to know. Don't, don't think that people are going to start juggling you back and forth because everybody's not the same. You see what I'm saying? Abundance is coming in. You got the Ten of Pentacles, okay? Your money's going to be right. Whatever this person did to you, whatever you're going through right now, if you don't got a job, if you're looking for a new job, if you're thinking about moving to another position, you know, where you might think it's going to give you more money, but you're kind of like, oh, I don't know to move, get that job. It's going to give you more money, okay? I feel like you've been juggling around in your mind to, like, try to, like, jump over to another position or maybe a little business you want to open or something that you want to, like, that makes you money. Stop thinking about it. Stop thinking about it and start balancing that because it's going to give you good money, okay? So don't worry about it and keep on moving. The Knight of Wands in reverse. Somebody was going to move fast to something and they stopped, okay? So stop thinking about the bad things. Stop thinking about what can't happen. Stop thinking about what cannot come into your energy because you can make things happen. You feel me? You attract what you project, Okay, and sometimes we don't sit there and project good things. Sometimes we want the bad boys, the bad girls. You feel me? That's the way that life rolls for some reason. You feel me? But I think it's overcoming a pattern of like, you know, when you have so many people that hurt you, that's all you know. You feel me? Try something new. It's going to be hard in the beginning. And it's going to be, you know, kind of like, what the fuck <laughs> in the beginning. But it's, I feel like it's going to be good. You feel me? But sometimes, you feel me? And I'm seeing it here. You get stuck in an energy where you don't want that good, that good, good person. You feel me? You want that person that, you know, and I'm not saying that you're dramatic or chaotic or anything like that. It's just that you want that person or you're looking for that person that you've always known. You feel me? It's nothing bad. Okay? I've done it before. But good things, new things, prosperity coming your way is coming your way. Okay? So learn to appreciate the good things that are coming your way. You don't know if a person, you know, is very good and, I don't know, man, you got the Ace of Cups again under the deck. Something's going to be good here. Something is coming your way or you're looking at somebody or somebody's already happening here with somebody. I don't know, but this is looking cute. Let me see what else reveals here. I mean, I You're afraid. Listen, there's a king of cups coming in here with a lot of secrets. But I feel like all these secrets, you already know. You feel me? So I feel like I'm picking up on somebody here that you already know. You feel me? I feel like you know somebody here. That you want to go their way or they want to come your way. You're trying to manifest it. Some way, somehow, they're trying to manifest you. Be careful with people doing voodoo at you because I feel like there's a, a person here that they told you you're never going to be happy unless it's with me. And they promised you that. But you got a king of cups coming in here. Sometimes a king of cups comes off like, you know, a person that is really lovable. They're stable. They know what they're doing. They've been there and done that. You feel me? But sometimes they come in for the fuckery because they've been there and done that. I know they know the game. They know how to run the game. They know how to go on circles. They know go on triangles. They know it all. You feel me? So be careful who comes into your energy. Even though I think somebody good is coming in, just be careful. Because somebody's coming in with their own skeletons, with their own secrets, with their own fuckery. You feel me? Whatever it is. Just understand the person because remember, we all have our little problems, but I feel like somebody's coming in here with their own problems. You feel me? 
Don't dismiss somebody because they got problems. Try to help a person. And I ain't saying put your whole entire motherfucking energy in there and help a person. You feel me? But try to understand a person because this is what's going on, you know, here and everywhere. When people don't understand each other, one walks this way and the other one walks that way and everything is, you know, fucked up. And you don't know that's a person that's going to make you the happiest person in this lifetime and give you everything you need or want. You feel me? Let me see what else is here for Leo. I like this. It's cute. It's like, yeah, you, you're looking the other way, Leos. It's like, you don't know. There's something popping off here, Leo, with you and somebody. And I want to know who it is because you don't know what's going to happen with this person. If you're dealing with a person right now and you're like, is it going to work out? Is it not going to work out? Listen, it, it might work out. It's going to work out. I'm not going to say there's going to be arguments and fights because, you know, when there's no arguments and fights in a relationship, there's there's no relationship. You have to argue and fight. You feel me? But I feel like this person and you're going to kick it off really nice. You feel me? And I don't know. The, that card is always about marriage to me. It's like more like a long commitment and, you know, a person that might potentially in the future end up marrying you got the world in your hands man you're looking for it all leo you're gonna find it it's gonna find you too but you need to get that fear whoever here i'm picking up very a person that's you know very fearful to move on you know i understand your past i'm looking at it i'm seeing the pain i'm seeing you know the abuse i'm seeing everything that happened to you here it's like it turned you into a whole bitch a person that doesn't trust nobody a person that will fuck somebody up in three seconds but you have a lot of things coming your way here that are nice and that are pure, okay? You could be dealing here with more water. <clears throat> There's a lot of water here, Pisces, Capricorn, and Cancer, a lot of water. All these cards down here are water, except this one, which is, it could be anybody. Let me see. This past person here is going through this so bad, they're stuck. They stuck in your motherfucking love. They can't let you go. But, you know, people don't understand here that when you do bad to a person, you're going to go only so far until you get sick and tired and tell somebody to go fuck themselves. You feel me? And I feel like this person is trying to balance their money. And it's like, they were trying to do something so fast and it failed on them. Okay? But I see like a light here around somebody. You might have been, you might have opened a portal. To something here that's good for you. So, are you seeing synchronicities more like 111, 1111? A lot. Check that out, please, because you might have an open a portal here and you don't even know you open a portal here and you're in another level right now. You feel me? Let me see. What else? Mineira. Just really need to know here. She's not wanting this deck since yesterday. I don't know why. Let me see. What else do you need to know, Mineta? Where'd it go? Oh my God, are you serious? I can't pick it up, y'all. Okay, let me see. What else, Mineta? You know, Leo's, there's somebody here, there's a fool here that lost you. And, you know, keep on going because this fool right here is going to either end up in something really bad, and they already did. I feel like this person already did some crazy shit here. You feel me? So don't don't let nobody stop you and for what you're doing, think you're anything. Because I feel like somebody is putting pressure on somebody here. And every time you meet somebody, you try to meet somebody, you try to go somewhere, it's like, they try, and you got envious people around you. That's what I'm going to say. Be careful with people. And, you know, it's like, it's getting so frustrating that everybody's getting envious and jealous of people. For what? That's why. Chill by, chill by yourself. Look at this. They landed together. No matter how I shuffle, they landed together. Okay? Be open to love. Real love. Not fake love. Let me see what this says. 
messages, signs, and all the synchronicities. You might be getting a lot of synchronicities, like I said. 11, 11, 1, 1, 1, 2, 2, 2, I don't know, 4, 4, 4. Try to look for those angel numbers. There's something there. I feel like somebody opened a portal here and doesn't even know it. And I feel like you feel weird. You don't know what to do. You're thinking more like you're more like awakened. You're seeing more synchronicities. You're seeing more signs. You're seeing more messages. You don't know how to, you know, put the pieces together. You might have opened a portal. Okay, and when you open a portal, you have to make sure you understand what you're seeing. So look up, you know, if you see numbers, look them up and see what they mean for you, okay? I feel like I'm losing my conscience thinking about you. <laughs> who did you meet here, Leo? Or who met you? Or who's watching you? Who you watch? I don't know. Am I crazy for fitting this deep, intense connection? I cannot make this shit up. Y'all better tell me who y'all fucking with. <laughs> Something cute's coming in. Something cute. I like it. I like it. Someone got some black and white photos, message, etc. They keep tabs on your receipts. This could be this new person coming in. You know, they, you know, download your pictures. I don't like that. It's a little bit, you know, I'm like, uh, but you feel me? Like, they might have, you know, little pictures of you, saving pictures, messages. They might tell you, you know, send me a picture. And they already got a picture of you, you feel me? But I feel like this past person, they're keeping tabs on you. So, who gives a fuck? Show yourself out. Get dressed up. When you're going out, throw more pictures than ever. You feel me? Let them watch you. But somebody here got receipts on you. They want to damage your um, reputation. They want to put you in a place where people think of you in a certain way. When, you know, they're both people here at fault. I ain't even going to lie. There's two people here. It's not going to hit every deal that are at fault here about something. But they're making it look like you're more. You feel me? I'm hiding the way I'm truly feeling. Somebody here is hiding how they feel. It's either you, Leo, or a person here, but somebody's keeping a close eye to you. Somebody wants you, Leo, and they want you bad. You got it, you got it bad. When you're on the phone, hang up and you call right back. I don't know, but somebody here. Yeah, I can't sing, bro. My, I'm sick. But somebody here is going to hit a very nice connection. I see it cute. I'm not good enough for you. Never will be. That's this past motherfucker. That he knows or she knows. That will never be good for you. But somebody good is coming in. And I feel like they know this. They're feeding it. You know, they probably seen you already chilling with people. And it's like it's bothering them. It's like they cannot stand to see something. They're very, very, very. Listen, this person that you were dealing with in the past. It could have been one, two, three, four, five years. Whatever it was. They're going through it so bad. That it's like they haven't found somebody after they left you. They won't even with fuck ups. Illegal activities, jail or prison. So they're doing illegal shit, they're going to jail. Be careful, Leo, that you don't get caught up in no situation, you know, um, where it can get you fucked up with your friends, family, whoever it is. Look, in the bottom of the deck. Do you want to hold me down? I'm coming for you. Somebody's coming for you, Leos. I like this, man. I like it. Let me see. Be careful you don't get yourself in a situation because you're telling me strongly, you know, that it can go your way too. So friends, family, whoever's around you, it doesn't matter you. Like, be careful, okay? Let me see what's the message here for Leos. I don't know, but I'm seeing a very sexual, you know, passionate connection here that two people are not going to be able to keep their hands off each other. I feel like, you know, there's going to be a connection here where you're going to hit that bed and you're going to hit a lot of passion and lust, but it's more like a passionate lust. And I feel like somebody's going to cry here in that passionate lust moment right there with a person. And it's not because you're stupid and you're crying because you're falling in love with a person or anybody thinks that, oh, why, why is this person crying? It's because you're feeling the chemistry. You're feeling the soul of the person. And that is beautiful. That's a beautiful thing to experience, whether it's only you or the person. But I don't know. I'm feeling something really strong that's coming in here. A very passionate connection here. I'm almost feeling it. Feels good. Let me see what that little here. This could be pre this could be past, present, or future. Let me see. I'm clearing up my karma. So, Leos, whatever karma you have from the past, you know, in this lifetime, whatever it is, you're clearing up karma. You're clearing up people. You're moving people out of your way. You're moving, you know, people. And you know, if you're not doing it, you're going to start doing it because karma is getting cleared up here. Okay? For you. 
this feels too intense. I'm not sure how to handle it. Listen, if it's intense, that's the best intense there is. Okay, because when there's intensity in a relationship with somebody coming in, it's like almost like going back to like when you were a child and it's like, damn, what did he say about me? What did she say about me? Like, damn, does she like me? Damn, does he like me? Listen, that's a good intense. You feel me? It's a nice intense. I'm feeling it. I'm feeling it. You feel me? And it feels good. It feels nice. It feels warm. It feels loving. It feels very good is what I'm feeling. I do love you. I just don't know how to show you right now. Somebody here is going to find love and they don't know, they're not going to know what to do because the chemistry is going to be so strong. It might be somebody that might be your soulmate and this is why it's coming in so strong. So you'll know, you'll feel it, you feel me? And it could be somebody that you don't even know yet. I'm trying to understand. It could be somebody that's coming in and you don't even know this person yet. I'm working on myself. Somebody here is very strongly trying to work themselves and be able to come your way and possibly give you what you want. You feel me? But I feel like for some of y'all, you don't even know this is coming your way. Let me see. What cards here are for Leo and Leo? I'm feeling it. It feels soft. It feels warm. It feels nice. It feels gentle. But it feels lustful. It feels passionate. It feels, you know, like the intense. That nice, intense, you, when you get chills down your spine, when you feel it, you feel me? When you feel it in your soul, when you feel it in your skin, when you feel it everywhere, I'm feeling it. So whoever here I'm feeling, bro, like, don't let that go because it's going to feel good. You feel me? And I feel like one of you or, uh, uh, I don't know, a few of you, you haven't been, you haven't had sex in a while. You know, if they come in and that's what's going to happen in the beginning, do it because that's going to make a connection there, Okay. Let me see. You got sun. That's your sign, Leo. You got sun right here. Coming in with a message, okay? The golden energy of the sun brings fame and fortune. And that's you, Leo. Look how that lit up. What the hell? The sun, Leo. Look how that light lit up. And that's just my phone because the light is over there. What the fuck? That's a sign for you, okay? Like, go out more to the sun. You know, go out more. You know, when the sun shines, because something's coming. You know, when the sun shines, it brings brightness. It brings light. You feel me? Some of us like to be in the dark. You feel me? We don't like the sun. But there's a reason for that. There's a golden energy that's going to come your way. And it's going to be good. Okay? So bring a lot of, it's, you know, go out more. You know, if you're going to go to the store or anything, just go out more. Because it's going to bring you some type of fortune, okay? You might meet somebody. You might just bump into somebody that you don't even know. Hit a conversation and boom, something's happening for you, okay? When it comes to for, uh, fortune and fame, okay? Abundance, money, whatever it is, okay? I'm going to wish you the best of luck. I love you all and I'll see you later, my loves.